Hello everyone, welcome to a new video from Techosa. We live in a modern world where we use social media for a lot of stuff. And the internet has become a part of our life, even for small kids because all their classes are taking place on the internet by using online platforms. Okay, now let's think. For what purposes do we use the internet? We use internet to upload pictures of us, to watch quality videos in YouTube, to play games, and obviously for our online classes. As an internet user, today's video will be very interesting to you. So without a further ado, let's get into the video. Have you ever thought about this? You watch a lot of videos, photos and a lot of audios on your smartphone. But how many videos and photos? We know that it depends on the space of your smartphone. Well, it can be 32GB, 64GB, 120GB or whatever. Also, you watch a lot of videos from the internet such as from YouTube, Facebook, TikTok and so on. In fact, about 500 hours of videos are uploaded to the YouTube every single minute. As of 2019, Science Focus estimated that Google, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook collectively stores at least 1200 petabytes. Do you know how much is a petabyte? That is, a thousand gigabytes equals a terabyte or one million megabytes. So, thousand two hundred petabytes are one point two million terabytes. And it is estimated that there will be forty trillion gigabytes in two thousand twenty. So, what is the storage capacity of the internet? As per Statista, the worldwide storage capacity of the data center is around two thousand exabyte, which is equal to two billion terabytes. But also it is estimated around 2.5 exabytes or 2.5 million terabytes are produced every single day. And it is sure it will be increased in the coming years. So Google is planning to build more data centers for massive future cloud storage solutions. Do you remember what a data center is? In our video about the internet, I have told you that data center is a place where all the data in the internet is stored. And Google has about 19 data centers around the world. And obviously, Google isn't the only company with data centers. There are thousands of companies with their own data centers. Some companies even provide data centers as rent to small companies who can't afford to make them. All the data that we see on the internet is stored in some data centers. Can the internet function if these data centers become full? Absolutely no. This is the reason why companies are building more and more data centers and also finding more efficient ways to store data. Companies like Seagate are using sophisticated technologies to make hard disks that can store much larger data capacities. But considering the speed at which data is created, this may not be enough. Also, making and maintaining a data center is very expensive. The cost of electricity to keep it running and cooling it is very high. Do you know what are the different places where data centers are placed for better efficiency? Microsoft uses its data center under the ocean for better reliability, practicality and energy sustainability. These underwater data centers are known as the Project Natick. Microsoft's Project Natick team deployed the Northern Isles data center 117 feet deep to the seafloor in 2018. For the next two years, team members tested and monitored the performance and reliability of the data center service. Data centers on land require cooling methods to remove the heat generation in the data centers. Whereas Project Natick has shown that data centers can be operated and kept cool without tapping fresh water resources that are vital for people, agriculture and wildlife. Also, Facebook uses a different method to cool their data center. That is to build a data center in a cold place like Arctic. Companies use intelligent compression techniques to compress the data stored in the data centers. All this means that the internet will not run out of space, right? Well, yes and no. The internet can practically run out of space, but it will not because companies will make more and more data centers as the storage begins to reduce. Also, scientists are making amazing technologies that can store data in molecular level. Scientists are looking at storage solutions that take up far less physical space such as DNA-based storage, 
where each base pair represents a bit or nano material like a glass disk that can hold 360 terabytes yet is no bigger than a coin. But even with this technology, we may run out of storage space in a few centuries. To conclude, let's say that the internet will not run out of space anytime soon. So don't worry, you can upload your precious photos to the cloud storage to keep it safe for a long time. So that's it for today's video. Hope this video was informative for you. If you have any doubts and queries regarding this session, feel free to ask it in the comment section below. So see you all in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.